Yeah, they used to have that. Uh, it wasn't that word. Interposed. Interposed. They had that. Changed it. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Father God, we do come to you with grateful hearts, Father. We come with that blessing that we just sang about. You are the fount of every blessing. God, we ask you to tune our hearts as we sing of your grace. God, thank you, Lord, for the blessings of the year gone by and the year that lies before us and the blessing of church family that we can come and share with. God, bless us with your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Okay, what else? Anybody got one? Time of 
of pride, a shelter in the time of storm. Oh, Jesus is the rock, he is the rock. Shelter in the time of storm We'll never leave our safe retreat A shelter in the time of storm Well, Jesus is the rock He's a rock He's a rock In a weary land Well, Jesus is the rock He's a rock A shelter in the time of storm no refuge dear, a shelter in the time of storm. Be thou my helper, ever near, a shelter in the time of storm. Yes, Jesus is a rock, he is a rock, he's a rock, in a weary land. Yes, Jesus is a rock, he is a rock, a shelter in the time of well, Jesus is the rock. He is the rock. He's the rock in a weary land. Yes, Jesus is the rock. He is the rock. A shelter in the time of storm. Come on. Know me? Oh, without your glasses. You don't know if you can hear. Oh, I bet you'll be able to hear. All right, listen. I hear. I want you to help me tonight. I want you. I want you to fill in the blank. And uh, here's the thing. I don't want you to talk to me. But I want you to talk to the Lord. Okay. And uh, uh, here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to tell you what. It's just a couple of words and then fill it in. But I want you to stand up and make a declaration to God by filling in the blank. Okay? Lord or Jesus or God or Father, however you want to address him, you are my Savior. Savior. You're not talking to me. Address the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Anybody else? Amen. Amen. Hmm. I went back and was looking through uh, God's Word. Just I, I Googled, not Googled, I took a concordance on the computer and, and plugged in you are my, and then 
threw up all the verses that complete that. And these are some of the completions of that statement. Strength, you are my friend. You are my God. You are my refuge. You are my shield. You are my hope. All of these you've said. You're my treasure. You're my king. You're my lamp. You're my fortress. You're my helper. You're my father. You're my rock. You're my master. You're my redeemer. You're my safe haven. You're my savior. The one that stands out to me is one, and Carl said it, you're my hiding place. And we talked about shelter. We talked about refuge. We talked about many different ways that that is often expressed, but it's found in, in Psalm 32, verse 7. Psalm 32, verse 7. It says, for you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. In discipleship training tonight, Jerry took us to several passages of scripture that referred to the fact that there's a new song. And part of that new song is that song of victory, songs of victory. You know, it, 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 we've got many of the writers in Psalms that refer to God as a shelter, a refuge, and a hiding place. Psalm 17, 8 says, Guard me as you would guard your own eyes. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Psalm 27, 5 says, For he will conceal me there when troubles come. He will hide me in his sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. Psalm 91, 1 says, Those who live... In the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Woo! I don't know about you, but that sounds great. Need some rest? No better place than to stretch out in the shadow of God. Psalm 119, one, verse 114. You are my refuge and my shield. Your word is my source of hope. Psalm 143.9, rescue me from my enemies, Lord, I run to you to hide. You know, in Psalm 32 that we were looking at is a psalm written by David, and it's, a, it's an absolutely incredible psalm. It's a, it's a confession, it's a repentance that comes from David's heart. It begins by, it says, Oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt whose lives are lived in complete honesty. When I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away, I groaned all day long. Day and night your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I'll confess my rebellion to the Lord and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. Therefore, Confession, guilt-free. Therefore, let all the godly pray to you while there's still time that they may not drown in the floodwaters of judgment for you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. You see, David learned. David learned that God was his hiding place. Think about the man David. He was, he was a strong man. He was a wise man. He was smart. You know, he, he, he fa remember, as a young lad, he faced the giant Goliath and took him down, took him out, slinging a few rocks, one rock, really. Carried five, but only needed one. You know, it, think about Saul chasing him. He had to flee, had to run for his life. You know, he, he led the armies of Israel into battle. He knew, he knew, he learned that God was a good hiding place. Now you stop and think about it. I know some people might have, a tr have trouble with the fact that why would you want to hide? You know, why, what would be the, the value in, 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 in hiding? Is, is hiding is not out of fear. 
But think about what you experience when God is your hiding place. First thing you experience is the very presence of God. Safe haven, safe place, protection. So you, you experience his presence, you experience his protection, and then you experience his peace. I don't know about you, but that's, that's, that's those three elements of God's presence. We say, you know, we, and we, we do confess and we read and we know and we believe that, that, that God is in me, God is with me, the spirit of the living God is there, and that's true. And so when I hide in him, I'm connecting with my spirit, with his spirit. And I'm, I'm, I, 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 <laughs> well, I may run to him initially out of anxiousness or fear sometimes. Uh, it's amazing how he can calm the storm. He's that shelter in the time of storm. And so he can bring that protection. He can bring that peace. Um, you know, it was, it's, it's, we need a hiding place. David's life demonstrated the need that he needed a hiding place. He was, a, he was known as what? A man after God's own heart. Wouldn't that be a wonderful thing to be known for? To be a man or a woman after God's own heart? And known by God with that nature, that characteristic, that calling. David had good times. David had bad times. David, <laughs> David had great successes, and David had failures. Yeah, and he had times where there was laughing, and there were times where there was crying. David needed a hiding place. You and I need God as our hiding place to experience that presence, to experience that protection, to experience that peace. Um, we benefit from that hiding place. You know, God provides the benefit of his blessings. We sang about that a moment ago, God's blessings. And we spoke of it this morning, the mercies of God and the grace of God, and that you know, God is, 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 is there. God is, provides those uh, when we seek his presence. The Bible tells us that if we seek him, we will, we will find him. So with that understanding, I just want to encourage you to, through the, the weeks and the months and the days that lie before us in 2018, it is hard to say that. We were talking about that earlier, 2018. Doesn't fit. Um, make those declarations to God, who he is to you. Can I tell you who, <laughs> you, you think it puts a smile on God's face? I think, I think what it does, it puts a smile in our heart because when God, when we acknowledge who God is, we're the benefactors. We're the ones who receive the blessing from that declaration that God, you're my hiding place. God, you're my strength. God, you're my peace. God, you're my savior, my redeemer. You're my all in all. And don't forget it. The declaration, hear, hear, and then put it to practice in your life and live it out. How have you found God to be your hiding place? How has God shown it? How does he show it? Okay, the assurance of knowing that he's trustworthy and that you can take most things to him, all things to him. How has God shown to be your hiding place?
que Maria That's right. He will. Psalm 40. Psalm 40. He will lift you out of the mud and the mire and set your feet on solid ground. That's why he's your rock, too. Somebody else. No matter what, no matter how many times you fail, no matter how many times you forget, God is always faithful. He's your hiding place. You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say I am strong in the strength of my Lord. Father God, we thank you for being our hiding place. We thank you, Lord, for experiencing your presence, for your protection, for your peace. Lord, we pray your richest blessings over our families, our homes, our church in year, the year 2018. God, our thoughts, Guide our hearts, guide all that we do, that we would please you in our service. In Jesus' name.